Hey all here OS Reviews. A few months back we did a review on the Tiny Scope, which was this microscope accessory for smartphones that you can connect and blow things up into this microscopic world, exploring different objects super up close hundreds of times in fact. It really is quite a cool idea and I really liked it. Now the company is back with a different product that is a telescopes. This time it's about zooming things in from afar. So if you want to get close to say something that is really uh, in the distance or if you're trying to capture night photography, things like stars or the moon, that's where it's something like this will really shine and give you a lot more flexibility. To control it using the companion app, uh, which is the same one that we saw with the tiny scope microscope. Uh, it can also be mounted onto a tripod for added stability to really see things from a thousand meters away. It's also still compact enough that you can put it into a backpack and still take it with you when you're on the go and basically explore things as you're going about the same size and weight as a standard water bottle. Here's just a preview, for example, of the moon that you can capture on a cloudless day. We'll take a look at more samples, of course, later on in this video. Inside, we've got the telescope itself, of course, we'll take a closer look at. There's also a quick user guide with the companion app QR code that you can download. Here is the Wi-Fi module box, the same one, in fact, as the previous tiny scope that we saw. So this adds wireless connectivity, which isn't built directly into the unit, but you connect this box to it. You also get a microfiber cleaning cloth and also a USB type C cable for again, connecting it using the OTG method with any smartphone via type C. So here's a closer look at the dwarf telescope itself. The body is constructed out of a polycarbonate plastic, but it does feel pretty lightweight and easy to take. doesn't feel too cheap. Uh, there is no lens protector on the design. So maybe that's one thing they can add is potentially a cover in the next gen model, but otherwise looks quite clean. There's just a simple black and white finish, a tripod mount on the rear there, and then just the type C port also in line with their microscope in terms of fitting in as part of the same collection. Now, this does remind me a little bit in terms of the design with the Lytro light field camera that we also did a review on a few years back. Also has this interesting cylinder-like shape, but of course these are two very different products. So here is the Tiny Scope app on our phone, again available for iOS and Android, and I can just connect it by the Type-C port on my device, and it will automatically open up the viewfinder so it can automatically launch every time you plug it in, or you can open the app yourself and take a look at the preview of what the camera is seeing. And when you're connected, you can see there's gonna be a blue light that says uh, basically that it's working properly. Some of the things that we can control from the app and we're able to see include the frame rate of the camera, usually hovering around 30 frames per second. We can also adjust things like the focus here so I can um, make it zoom in and zoom out. You can hear it a bit more clearly and see the lens also moving up and down. So it is an optical process and that's basically how it moves. Uh, you can also use an autofocus mode, so depending on what object you're pointing at, it can do that by itself, just by tapping on the manual there. So that is a pretty convenient process. Other things that we can do here include switching over to recording video around HD quality, so it's not gonna be able to you know, record crazy 2K or 4K footage, but still it's very neat to see things really up close. So you do need to be pretty still when you are capturing content. To help mitigate that, I would recommend uh, putting it onto a tripod if you're trying to capture something super far away because the smallest of shakes will be magnified because you're getting things so zoomed in. You're also able to capture some time-lapse footage, so if you want to speed things up, it will basically capture things like the sun going down. You can try uh, playing around with that. So very basic functions from there. And otherwise, we can also take a look at some other settings like the contrast, saturation, sharpness level, as well as the resolution. And all of the footage that you're taking and recording is saved onto your phone's built-in memory. The other things in terms of the app here is pretty basic, although there are a few tutorial videos that tell you how to use the product, which can be useful. And then just like what we saw from before with the tiny scope microscope, you do have a community tab of other folks basically sharing what they've captured using the products, uh, almost like a bulletin board of sorts, which is kind of neat. They're trying to create a community around that. And if you want to use it in the Wi-Fi mode, basically pop it onto this Wi-Fi box, turn it on, and you're ready to go. Again, the Wi-Fi box is basically powering this uh, telescope as well, and it will work for uh, an hour or two in this method. And then just open up the app again and you'll be able to preview things exactly in the same way, but you don't have to be connected physically to your device. So let's take a closer look at some samples now taken with the Dwarf Telescope. So the first image here is actually captured with my phone, just to give you guys an idea of how far away I am at the moment. Now notice in the picture here that there is a small little pot right there in the edge. Here's the video and effect as taken by the 
telescope. So you can see that we have gotten a lot closer and everything is still surprisingly sharp. Frame rates again are around 30 frames per second, which is decent. It's not going to be buttery smooth always, uh, but actually is working surprisingly well. Right now I'm not putting it onto a tripod, I'm holding it in my hands. The lens that they're using is pretty good quality, and because of how zoomed in you can be, it really does create a sense of natural bokeh, as you can see there onto these leaves in focus, but everything in the background has now been out of focus. Now, remember that bunny rabbit that we just saw sitting in the front? Here is the same bunny captured using the telescope, so a ultra-large bunny rabbit. And again, pretty good in terms of these tiny details that you would never be able to see if you actually walked up to this wild rabbit, it would just run away. In fact, underneath the tree in the far distance uh, towards the forest, I can even see these two baby rabbits. And also here's a footage of a bird that's sitting on the very far fence that you just saw in that zoomed out photo. So you're able to also capture other nature shots. A few more samples from this angle. You can see again in the backyard, if we zoom all the way in, there is kind of a tiny little rabbit underneath this particular tree as well. And if we zoom in, we're able to see more of this rabbit uh, as it is coming closer and closer and just get these incredible shots that would be impossible to take alone from your phone. A few more seconds of this cute bunny rabbit as it is munching away at food. So again, you do have some versatility in terms of if you are at least a few meters away, you can still get in focus uh, just by using the adjustments for the manual focus there. But if you get further away, it still works, of course, just uh, adjusting things based on the distance that you're at. All right, so a few other shots away now, we can see that there might be a small kind of lamp post in the background and then zooming all the way in. In fact, from my perspective, this was a particular tree that actually, if we look super closely, actually has uh, there is no more digital zoom available, but there is a small kind of bird or crow on it. And if we use the telescope lens, it's able to see this much more clearly. There's a crow. Again, giving guys a better idea, if we zoom all the way into this particular area, we can see there are two little branches there on the edge of the sky. And then zoomed in with the telescope, here is what the device sees. So again, just instantly getting you so much closer. All right, so that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Dwarf Telescope. This was a product that initially I thought was maybe too good to be true, depending on the ads and what I saw, but actually trying it out, it is indeed a functional mini telescope or an ultra zoom camera lens that you can attach to any phone, and it really is quite a cool thing to play around with. Uh, regardless of, you don't have to necessarily be pointing at the sky, like the name kind of implies to capture the moon, even in everyday scenarios like we showed you to capture nature and uh, trees and objects from afar, you get that effect, which is just possible from a regular phone camera. And of course you can still use it like a telescope to explore the sky, although a thousand times magnification will just be enough to see the moon like we saw at the beginning of this video. But for other smaller planets that are further away, it might not do the trick, but still again considering the portability, this being really advertised as the world's smallest telescope for smartphones, it certainly does fit the bill and works surprisingly well. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Dwarf Telescope.